reversal of learning challenges in children is something we've seen all along. And then the peer review published study out of University of Hawaii Medical School was uh, you know, a little girl with a clear case of vaccine damage from her well baby check having eight to 10 grand mal seizures every day. And she, you know, of course the technology has been with Dr. Terry Shintani, a professor of medicine at University of Hawaii Medical School, but um, professor of complementary alternative medicine and he's a Harvard trained MD, JD, MPH. And so he had our technology there and had this little girl who was almost four years old four years old having eight to ten grand mal seizures a day and she they had already tried chelation to pull the heavy metals the the mercury the aluminum etc they'd already done the chelation they'd done all the dietary stuff they bought their own hyperbaric chamber she was still having eight to ten grand mal's mm -hmm. and eight to ten petite mal's a day imagine that as a mother what that'd be yeah. like just hell and so she had her first you know, there was some mitigation. They, they, they didn't, weren't sure if it was really mitigation. There was a seizure log after the first one hour session in an eight unit system at the university. And after the second one, a little bit better, but she had her first seizure free day ever after her third one hour session in an eight unit system. Okay. So, you know, but, but the way that works is when the body has the energy, when it has the charge, because we're creating something called phase conjugation, phase conjugate wave pairs that come together, it creates an implosion release of charge. When the body has that charge, it's what raises the millivoltage in the cells. But the first thing the body does when it has more energy is it wants to clean house. And that charge allows the body to discharge everything that doesn't belong. And so we see the heavy metal, literally can see the heavy metal detox. I'll give an example of that. After being in the technology, I had one gentleman who was a, um, a master metal worker, did bridges and things like that. And he said the first six baths that he did after being in the technology, he had brought his wife in for her colon cancer, which had, uh, you know, well, she had tremendous results. And, uh, but anyway, it, you know, men don't come for themselves, even though his pain was released and uh, reversed and his hearing came back and all these different things. But, but the piece about the bath is so, so important to understand because the body has the charge and it wants to discharge everything that doesn't belong. Well, him being a mastal metal worker, he said the first six baths that he did turn the color of steel. And it felt like steel shavings in the bottom of the tub. And so he took a magnet and it literally picked up all the- Wow. Yeah, picked up all those shavings. That is true heavy metal detox. That <laughs> is true, <laughs> a visual example. The world's easiest detox. You get in the system, you take a nap <laughs> and then do a salt bath, two cups of salt, you know, I this, the the bath that we're recommending now is two cups of salt is the minimum, and that's sea salt, not Epsom salt, sea salt, salt of the earth kind of thing, uh, and uh, two cups baking soda because that's the bath for radiation because we're all dealing with radiation poisoning, and then I'm also recommending that people add one cup of borax, twenty mule team borax is boron. And that helps detox the fluoride that you mentioned and things like that. But it also helps pull some of these synthetic biologies that we're dealing with from, from bioweapons. Um, and, 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 you know, so the bath is, you know, people can see the toxins in the bathtub. Sometimes they'll see the parasites. Uh, another little boy with autism, the mother's a doctor and they'd done everything. But after being in, the technology using the EE system. She took him home, put him, put him in a bath that night and the water turned black. The body wants to release and the salt will pull the toxins. I was just talking to Dr. Robert Young about this last night and how, you know, with all the pores of the body, when you create that ionic exchange, of course, with, with some heat, it opens up the capillaries, opens up the pores and it can pull what doesn't belong, the, that's the world's easiest detox. It's just this salt bath. <laughs> Send yourself 
bathtub. I mean, it is, uh, you know, it's so, um, you know, it's so profound and significant. But uh, the largest organ of elimination is the skin. The skin. That's the kidneys. Right. Yeah. And I remember when we met, um, I was saying that I, I think people are really becoming very educated, more educated than their physicians about the role of detoxification in health. And we spoke briefly about for 30 years, I've been recommending Epsom salt baths because of the magnesium and the sulfur, which helps the, bio, the liver form phenyl sulfur transferase. And you explained to me, uh, which made a lot of sense, that magnesium, first of all, is a manufactured product and it's not as earthy and-, and uh, Epsom salts, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Epsom salt. And, um, and you said, no, don't use the Epsom salt when you're trying to detox because it actually clogs the pores of the skin. But the body will pull it in because everybody's so deficient in magnesium. That's right. Why one mineral deficiency is magnesium. We need it. And the easiest absorption, it, the best absorption of magnesium is transdermal. But the body's going to pull that in and then pull everything in that's in our tap water, which is mm. on the chlorine, the chemo drugs, the you know the antidepressants, the all the hormone, you know, birth control pills. That's all in our commercial, uh, in our regular tap water supply. So the salt will you want to pull like a magnet, and then maybe use your magnesium lotion or magnesium right. oil after your bath. Exactly. We get a good one, you know, your ancient minerals and, or one of those, you know, you know, one of the good magnesium. Um, I also like the supplement of uh, magnesium breakthrough, the seven forms of magnesium, because people are so deficient in the magnesium, but you want to do the bath with two cups of salt, 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 at least. And uh, although, you know, that's your minimum. And that's what I've been using with people since Oh gosh, when I had my when I built my first scalar healing chamber in my spa, mm. first scalar healing light chamber in my spa in 1978, it was only one person at a time. But we also had the individual baths, custom detox bath back then, because it, it's so yeah. important to detox. And that's how long I've been advocating people do that. And it's just one of those, you know, nothing does what a bath does. The skin right. is the of elimination but how do you really work with that you know when we're living in such a toxic soup you know you don't want to pull that toxic water in you want to pull all the toxins out instead you're going to use those toxins in the water to create more of like a homeopathic solution that pulls like toxicity out and that's what you create then when you do the salt and that, then the salt also works with the potassium sodium pump. It's pulling the acidity out of the tissues, you know, especially with the addition of the boron, and the um, and also with the uh, um, the, uh, the baking soda. Right. And, right. And and uh, and the detoxification is part of what's causing the decrease in inflammation. And inflammation is the basis of so many chronic illnesses today, diabetes, obesity, dementia, heart disease, cancer, they all have a base in inflammation. And toxins are what's a main contributor. What's that? They're inflammatory. Exactly. <laughs> are inflammatory. exactly. Yeah. And for example, with autism, what's created is that cytokine storm that inflammation storm in the brain mm -hmm. so this is a way i mean you know of course we've done so much brain research and you know i don't think there's anybody that doesn't want improved brain function so right. and yeah. one of the articles on your incredible website the eesystem.com uh was dr victor marcel vega and he was talking about some of the and he's a medical doctor he was talking about some of the other uh, conditions that are helped or have been helped through the EE system or the bioscalar technology, uh, conditions like diabetes, uh, vision, kidney stones, um, Parkinson's, depression, anxiety, uh, sinus problems, arthritis. And again, most of those conditions have an inflammatory base. Yeah. 
anything itis is means inflammation. Right. <laughs> colitis, I mean, arthritis, that's all inflammation. So yes. And, and